guys, welcome back to my channel, Real McCoy 411, the McCoy gang, the McCoy gang. I have been MIA, guys. I know I have been MIA. I know. But when I tell you it is for a good cause, I have become a caregiver for the elderly. And when I tell you at the age of 43, and I've had several jobs, jobs, but I cannot explain to you how rewarding it is when you find a job that doesn't feel like a job and you get so much joy in doing what you're doing is unbelievable. Uh, this protective style, I don't know if you like to wear stuff like this or not, but I'm going to catch you up on this protective style of what I did. So I went in, and when you're doing a protective style, you want to make sure that your hair has moisture. You want to make sure that your hair is not just sitting there dry in the same position day after day after day. So go in with some moisture. So I went in with the Maui Moisture, and this is the shampoo. And I went in with the Maui Moisture conditioner okay now this maui moisture is for dry and damaged hair it softens quench and repairs your hair it has shea butter coconut oil and macadamia oil free of sulfates and all that other stuff that you don't want in your hair heals hydrate you can't go for you this you couldn't go wrong so i had these and I use these. And then for my deep conditioner. Oh, boy. Before I shampooed my hair, I went in with one of my staples. One of my staples. And this is my pre-shampoo by African Pride. This stuff right here, you put this on your hair before you shampoo your hair and detangle it. This stuff is Bomb. I can't express it enough. It's real loose. Has a real loose texture. That's how it looks. Oh, hold on. Get on back up in there. Because, you know, um, Real McCoy don't, don't believe in uh, wasting no money, honey. So, you put this on your hair and just work it all in your hair. My hair was dry when I put it on. And when I tell you this stuff helps your hair detangle, it softens your hair, it has the coke, it has coconut water and aloe in it, it has other ingredients in it, but it helps minimize breakage for natural coils and curls. And it does it. It's $5.99. African Pride, $5.99. The bomb. I did not, I was not one to do a pre-shampoo until I found this product. I always hear about this product. So I went on and I gave it a try. I gave it a try. And it was, it was wonderful. See, I got a little on my hand. It's a real, not slimy, but it's a real perfect. It's a perfect combination is what it is. So I pre-shampooed with this, and then I went in with a deep conditioner. I did my uh, cholesterol by Queen Helene. Queen Helene. And this is just a hair conditioning cream. It restores shine, and it's long-lasting vitality. This stuff is really good. I bought the big thing. You let it sit on your hair 15, 30 minutes. Rinse it off. You're going to be able to tell the difference. I guarantee you. I got this big thing here off of Amazon. And I think it was like $4. Can't beat it. This is a very good deep conditioner. So, of course, after I deep condition, you already know I go in with my homemade leave-in conditioner. This is my rice water. This is my rice water leave-in. And I put this all over my hair, and I actually went in after that with melanin. Whitney! Natural 85. Went in with this. This was going to be my styler. Now, I'm going to tell you something. 
I sealed it off with grapeseed oil. But grapeseed oil, it's kind of hard to find um, a spray bottle that sprays your oils. So I had this lot of body bottle that I had used all of it. And, and this is a shine mist and it's the lot, it's like an oil. It was like an oil. So I went in and put my grapeseed oil in this bottle and it actually sprays. It sprays it on there. So yeah, I'm going to take the tag, the, the wrapping off of this. Okay. Because yeah, this ain't lot about it. So I'm taking this off. This is my grapeseed oil. And I love grapeseed oil because it's light and it moisturizes your hair really good and it stays. So I have already sprayed my hair. As you can see, I got a twist back here and they've done good. But today is the day that I'm gonna take out my my, uh, this is my off day, so I'm actually going to take down this and probably do a wash and go later on. But for right now, I'm about to take down this style and see where do I need to do. Do I need to, oh, I'm shining, baby. Oh, uh, yeah, that's okay. Good skin, good skin. Um, <laughs> I'm going to take down my protective style and see if I can wear it as a style, okay? So that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna to stop yakking. I'm gonna speed up the video and let's see what the outcome's gonna be. All right, let's get it.
this is it. This is the final look. I have a lot of definition. I have a lot of shine. My hair feels great. It's moisturized. I'm not even concerned about the moisture because the moisture is in the hair. And that is a plus. So I decided not to do anything with it. I took it down. It has so much vo so much definition and volume that I am not going to disturb it at all. At all. So if you're looking to do a protective style, the key things is is to make sure first and foremost that you're using moisturizing products because you're not going to be able to go in and add moisture, take it down, put it back up, add moisture. You don't have to do all that. All you have to do is make sure your base products are moisturizing products. And if need be, throughout your week or however long you use your protective, that you wear in your protective style, make sure you have you a light oil just to spray on your hair. And that's it. Another key thing is to make sure that your styler is moisturizing because you don't want your hair, you don't want to put your hair up dry and then have to have it in a dry state for however long that you wear your protective style. You want to make sure that your hair is moisturized while you're wearing your protective style. Okay, that's key, that's very important. Protective style, you need to think moisture. Okay, so this is it. And also, I cannot stress enough this rice water leave-in mix, which I have this much left. So I'm about to start making up me another batch. And I use it on every shampoo that I do. I use it for my wash and goes. It's, and I always use the LCO method. So the LCO method is very, very good, especially if you have low porosity hair. And when I say low porosity hair, low porosity is where you have the type of hair that is hard to obtain moisture. So it's hard for the moisture to get into your strands because your cuticles are closed. Your cuticles on your shaft they're closed. So you want to make sure that you use like a warm water to open those up, to open those cuticles up so that the moisture can get into your hair strand. And then once the moisture is in, it pretty much stays until you have to redo your hair again. So moisture, 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 moisture. Protective hairstyles. Everybody's doing it. Everybody's wearing them right now, especially it's coming up the fall. The summer is about to be gone. Thank you, Jesus. But, hey, you see, you see, you see the moisture, you see the shine, you see the definition. And that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Okay. So, guys, I want you to keep God first in everything you do, and I do mean everything. If you're new to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. I'm The Real McCoy 411. I'm on a natural hair journey. I'm sharing tips along the way. I'm sharing information that I'm learning along the way with you guys that are also on a natural hair journey. So, until next time, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on the notification bell and select all. And go back and watch some of my other videos. This is the most healthy. My hair is so healthy right now compared to when I first started this journey. I even have obtained and been able to retain some length. And that's a good thing. And shrinkage is a good thing also. So if you have shrinkage, that just means you have healthy hair. Keep that in mind. Shrinkage, shrinkage is not a bad thing. So here we go as far as my length. 
watch the first video, you can see my hair was not there, honey. Not there. And now my hair has arrived. And it's just going to keep going. It's going to keep going. So I was right here. And now I'm right here. And that's a bang that I actually cut. It messed up on, so it has caught up. It's a good thing. So, yeah, my hair is definitely retaining length. Always keep your ends clipped. Get rid of those split ends, those dead ends. And you know, I normally do that whenever I'm twisting my hair or putting up my two-strand twist or whatever. You can look at the ends. When you get down to the ends, if they look raggedy and thin and broke off, Snip it off. That's all you have to do. Snip it off. Okay? All right. Keep God first, guys, in everything you do. And I do mean everything. And find your purpose. Find your purpose in life. And when you find your purpose in life, I promise you, it's going to be hard. You're not going to have all good days. You're not going to have all good days. Nobody ever has all good days. But you will find a reward inside of you that's called joy and peace. You'll find it inside of you and that alone is worth everything. Okay, see you guys next time. And you all know, I do my settings in the bathroom. This is my settings. Sometimes I'll sit in the other location, but more than likely, you all get to come in my bathroom with me while I'm on my natural hair journey. All right, so I don't think I'm not gonna do nothing else to it. This is how I'm gonna rock it for the day. Boop, 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 boop. All right, guys, till next time. Bye. Yeah.